Welcome to Seen Through Glass. Today I am back down at Dub Customs because ever since they wrapped my car in the True Bug colour, it has been taking some abuse. Obviously I did some mega road trips earlier this year to Monaco and throughout Europe and decided that now the whole car needs a little bit of TLC. So, can't quite see him, but back there is Stu from F1 Wax. He is gonna go at it with his signature treatment, a full detail of exterior and interior. He's gonna be working on it for the next 12 to 18 hours. I cannot wait to see the results. I think it's gonna make my car look like it is brand new again. He says that I won't wanna drive it. It will look so good when he's done, <laughs> and I basically believe him. I thought I'd kill some time by doing a quick Q&A. I also thought that whilst I was down here, I might as well show you what else Dub are working on because they always have cool cars here. And as you can see, there are some stupidly cool cars at the moment. I have come up to the office at Dub Customs because I thought it'd be a bit quieter and we can get away from everything that's going on downstairs. Now you may be wondering why I'm getting a car with a wrap detailed, but you have to wait and see because Stu is insane at the work he does and he did do some work on the True Blood wrap of the F-Type before and it looked unbelievable and that was only like a couple of hours. One question I really wanted to get into, which a lot of you have been asking, is about the Mod Ball Rally. You may or may not know that Paul Wallace and I are taking part in this year's Mod Ball Rally, my first ever official rally, so I am crazy excited. Paul and I will not be doing it in our own cars. We will be one team, so we're doing it together, and the car that we're doing it in will be revealed the week of the rally. The rally leaves the 26th of June from Pall Mall in London. Make sure to come down to the start line if you can. We will be revealing the car that week, the week commencing the 20th or whatever it is, so stay tuned across all of our channels for that information. Something else I'm always asked about is the gear, the camera gear and equipment that I use to make these videos. So, let me show you quickly. This right here is the big camera that I use for all of my videos. It is a Samsung NX30. I've had it for ages. It was like a 400 pound entry level camera. It's got a Rode video mic and then a tripod, Gorilla tripod so I can hold it. So that is my big camera. Uh, wind thing for there, there's my other microphone, that's the Video Mic Pro. I have a GoPro 4 Silver, I've got a GoPro Session, different lens for my Samsung, I've got a strap for my camera, I've got some walkie talkies, I've got some uh, Olfi action cameras, I've got another lens for my Samsung, it's a power zoom lens, uh, I've got a charger, I think that's about it. The only other thing is I have polarizers because whenever I film cars I like to have polarizers. And then the main thing, which actually has been missing for a few videos, which a lot of you have noticed, is my point of view glasses. So I have pivot head Durangos, the glasses that I use. They are literally a pair of spectacles with a 1080p camera bang on here. They had a dodgy wiring thing because I use them so much, so they've gone back to be fixed under warranty. I should have them back in a few weeks. They are my favorite piece of technical equipment ever. And really excitingly, when I sent them back to Pivot Head, they said, would I like to get hold of their new Smart Series, which is like the upgraded, updated version. And I was like, hell's yeah. So apparently those are gonna be coming back with my old Durango. So I cannot wait. Hopefully they'll all be here for Modball and I will let you know as soon as I got hold of them because they are looking insane. Okay, let's head back downstairs, speak to Stu and see what is going on with my car. Stu is still working on the car outside. It is mid its five stage, I think, wash. Yes, five stage? Yeah. yeah, before it then comes inside. I think the big question is, why are we detailing a car with a vinyl wrap? But this man assures me, and I believe him, that he can make this car basically look like paint. Yep, there's the silent nod. Even just after this wash, it looks incredible. Ugh, I love my car. Right, I think we should crack on with some questions that you guys asked. Nick Farrant. Farrant? Nick Farrant? Merchandise would be pretty cool, Sam. Any plans for the future? Yes, I am definitely looking into merchandise. I'm actually in love with this cap that my friends at TD Lux, who are car brokers in Luxembourg, sent me. Weird, where is it? The STG branding. But yeah, I just really like this design. So stay tuned. At some point, I would love to do merchandise, but I haven't given it much thought yet. Challenge Auto. Why haven't you bought a glorious hot hatch daily yet? Because I don't see the need. The F-Type is the perfect daily. I've said this in videos before. 
Right now, I do not see any need to have a secondary car. Also, I've got nowhere to keep it. So until I get a car which I cannot use every day, I do not need to get a daily. Darren Wannell. What is your favorite band or musician? Hmm. For a long time it was Muse. I'm a bit varied, but it's usually tends towards, lean towards indie rock. Let's go back to Muse. I can always listen to Muse, so let's go with Muse. Cray Cray. It's a cool, cool Twitter name. Would you do a coast to coast type challenge in the US or maybe just through a couple of states? Y yes, basically. I am coming to America. So any American viewers or just viewers in general who are interested, I have booked all my flights and accommodation for Pebble Beach, Monterey Car Week, Concourse, The Elegance, whatever, at the end of August or mid-August. And I cannot wait. That is going to be my first US adventure this year. My second is I plan to head over to America towards the end of the year, September to November kind of time, and spend a ton of time out there trying to capture as much content as I can and eating as many pancakes as I can. America, fuck yeah. Harry Griffiths has asked, what was your first car? My first car was a 1.4 Mark IV Golf. I absolutely loved it. Ollie Hull, how are you coping with the depreciation on the F-Type? <laughs> Not well, but I'll deal with that further down the line. Andreas Christophers, will you ever come to Scandinavia on a road trip? I would love to. When I was 19, I did a road trip through Sweden and Finland. It was one of the best trips of my entire life. So I'm trying to work out a way to come back, but to do it properly. So if you have any tips or suggestions, comments below about Scandinavia. I Sisman, have you ever had any hair? Yes. I had lots at one stage. Jacob Jackson, I'm going to Goodwood Festival of Speed and would love to say hi if you're around. Not really a question, but my Goodwood plans, I'm actually going to be there with Michelin. We're filming this entire series with Michelin, the first episode of which is out this Sunday. So make sure you're tuned in for that. But it means that I'll be at Goodwood on Thursday and Friday for sure. Um, Saturday maybe, and then Sunday we're off on Modball. So weird dates this year, but if you're around on the Thursday or Friday, make sure you let me know. And I'll keep you posted as to whether I'm going to be there on the Saturday or not. The car has now come inside Dub because the real work is getting started and it is time to introduce the Paint Whisperer. <laughs> Stu from F1 Max who's going to be doing all the work on my car today. Before I let you crack on, um, because you're going to be working on this car for like 12, 12 hours or something Yeah, like minimum. That, it'd minimum. be good to give these guys a bit of an overview of what you're going to be doing to the, to the car. Sure, okay, so the car's gone through like a five stage wash outside. Go around the entire car, make sure there's no tar on it, any contaminants, anything like that. And then we're going to start like a three-stage machine polish. Um, then once I'm happy with that, then we'll think about ceramic sealing the car. Okay. We'll let that cure overnight. And then tomorrow we're going to apply um, probably a nice layer of Swiss wax. Amazing. Over the entire thing, over the ceramic. That should give us enough time for the ceramic to bond, give us a nice hard layer and then wax it. And then hopefully you won't want to use it. <laughs> <laughs> so. and, it's, and it is worthwhile doing even with the vinyl wrap because I yeah, know yeah. a lot of these guys will be saying, why yeah. are you doing No, 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 you can use ceramics on them. Um, on the vinyl wraps as well. Obviously, sure. the only ones you shouldn't really use them on um, are the flat finishes. Okay. But there's ways of protecting those as well okay. without cool. glossing it up. Um, so yeah, yeah, it might even be like... <laughs> I am so excited to see the results of this car because as you all know, I love the way it looks. I love the True Blood. It's been getting a lot of love on the recent road trips, but now, from all of your saying, I've been waiting to get my hands on yeah, the car for a long, long while. <laughs> I know you have, so I'm so, so excited. So we're going to leave Stu to crack on for, as I say, 12, 12 hours or so on this car and pick up tomorrow when, in theory, everything should be looking sparkly clean and brand new. <gasps> you are not ready for the greatness that I'm about to show you. Check this out. I am struggling to take in how incredible my car now looks. It's like it's new, but not only is it like it's new, it's like it is paint. I know Stu told me this before he started the process that he was gonna somehow turn a vinyl wrap into paint, but he's done it. I really hope it is coming across on camera just how liquid-like this car now looks. Also, anyone that watched Paul Wallace's prank video, the white lipstick is now back. I'm sorry if you preferred the black. I don't care, I prefer the white. So the white is back, but we'll touch on that again in a second. I need to bring in Stu to talk about this car and just to thank him and probably buy him a Lamborghini for the amazing work that he's done. Stu, thank you so much, pleasure, mate. I want to shake your hand 
because you have blown me away with the work that you have done on this car. Thank you. How have you turned plastic into paint? Okay, um, a lot of love. <laughs> a lot of love. <laughs> a lot of effort. And basically, what I'm working with there, the way the dub guys have wrapped the car, the wrap almost acts like a paint job. So it's so tight and almost over-engineered, folded round corners and edges. So I can work it like paint. I can really put pressure on where I need to with the buffer. I can, you know, treat it like a, a clear coat, a really decent clear coat. And then after that, it was sitting up, just waiting for a ceramic sealant. So it's got CarPro sealant all over it. It's got ODK waxes all over it. It's got everything on it. So I hope your car is now waterproof. You me up. Yeah, it's mate, thank proof. you um, so much. The fact that this now also has the ceramic coating is basically yeah. means that hopefully the amazing work you've done will last for Sometime. Oh, it better. <laughs> it better. It better. I'll be having yeah. words with myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it, it will. Yeah. Amazing. But mate, seriously, thank you so, so much. I literally feel like I have a new car again. I can't explain the feelings. And I really didn't think this would happen. I just thought I'd get back a cleaner car and be like, cool, my car looks clean. But it's the transformation of the wrap to this almost paint-like look, which has just blown me away. And of course, having the white lipstick back after Paul ruined my car yesterday in his funny prank. Uh, as I say, I'm sorry if you preferred the black, but I just, I just don't care. <laughs> this is my favorite look for the car. And out here in the daylight with this new ceramic coat and all the work that Stu's done, including the interior, because the interior is really what I was most fussed about when I came in. The interior is now looking beautiful too. I am so, so happy. The Jag is back. It is going to be back on the channel. My phone's been asking where it is. There it is. And it is fully back. That's not the sun, is it? Yeah. I can't face that.